Welcome to Electron Online. Since these, these types of problems give us quite a bit of trouble, let's do another one just like we did on the first example, again with a solution, in this case a blend that contains various percentages of corn oil, and together we mix them together and we should come up with 350 liters of a blend containing 45% corn oil. So the approach will be the same to help us get grounded in the methodology of how to solve these kinds of problems. We will start with letting x equal something, let x equal, and since we're adding solutions together and the content of the solutions uh, is in liters, the amount of the solutions in liters, we should let x equal the number of liters of one of the solutions. So let x equal the number of liters of the 15% corn oil solution. Let's call it blend instead of solution here. Now we need to express the amount of liters we have of the other blend. So in this case, the total will be 350. If we subtract x from that, we get 350 minus x, which is going to be equal to number, and I think I'm missing a b here, number, the number of liters of, a, of the 65% corn oil blend. So now we have the amount of each of the blends in terms of x. Now we need to come up with an equation. Again, the approach will be the same. We're going to keep track of the amount of corn oil that we have. So in this case, it'll be the corn oil in the 15% solution plus the corn oil in the 65% solution will be equal to the corn oil in the 45% blend. <clears throat> All right, how do we do that? We multiply the number of liters by the percentage corn oil. So in this case, it will be x liters times the percent, which is 15%. Here, the amount that we have will be 350 minus x, multiply the times 65%, and here, the total, we have 350, and we multiply that times 45%. So essentially, we add up all the corn oil in the first blend, plus all the corn oil in the second blend, equals the total corn oil in the final blend. And that's how we keep track of the corn oil, which will give us the equation. So turning that into a decimal, we have 0.15x plus 0.65 times 350 minus x, is equal to 0.45 multiplied times the total number of liters of the final blend, which is 350. Okay, now we want to get rid of the parentheses, but before we do that, let's multiply both sides by 100 to get rid of the decimals. So we multiply the right side by 100, multiply the left side by 100, so this becomes 15x plus 65 times 350 minus x, is equal to 45 times 350. All right, now we can get rid of the parentheses. So this becomes 15x plus 60 times 350. Let's see here, that would be 1800, that would be 2100. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna resort to, resort to a calculator. Let's see, 350 times 65, that's 22,750. A little bit faster that way minus 65x is equal to 45 times 350. That's 15,750. All right. Now we want all the x's on one side, all the numbers on the other side. So we end up with 15x minus 65x is equal to 15,750 minus the 22,750. Now coming over here, and completing the problem, 15 minus 65, that would be minus 50x, is equal to, uh, that would be 42050, that would be 6, 7,000. Hmm, is it 7,000? Yeah, I think it is. So minus 7,000, which means we're going to divide both sides by minus 50, or x is therefore equal to, looks like 140. 
And since x represented the number of liters of the 15% solution, that means we have 140 liters of this solution and 350 minus 140, which is 210 liters of this solution together, that's 350 liters. Now let's make sure that we have this correct by calculating the number of the amount of corn oil in each of the two blends and then in the final blend so we have 140 multiplied times 0.15 which would be equal to 40 that would be 21 liters of corn oil in this in this blend here we end up with 210 multiplied by 0.65 that would be equal to, uh, let's grab a calculator real quick, 210 times 0.65, that's 136.5 liters, this blend, and together that forms 157.5, we should get the same in the final amount right here, so that's 350 multiplied times 0.45, and how much did we say? We said 157.5, let's see, that's correct, 350 times 0 0.45, 157.5, and so it looks like we have the correct numbers here. We have the correct amount of liters for the first blend and the second blend, and everything seems to check out, and that is how it's done.